audiobooksofalltime.com and I want to discuss the best audiobook app of alltime.com and I want to discuss the best audiobook app for iPhones and Android smartphones. I'm going to review this app and talk about it in detail. Now this app is audible.com and you know audiobooks are an exploding market at the moment because of high speed internet, because of the portable devices that we now have access to. Everywhere we go we can carry audiobooks with us so it's important to have an app that works well, that gives you access to everything that you need and Audible does that. I use Audible, I listen to probably 20 hours of audiobooks per week. So what I wanted to do is give a quick review of Audible, look at the pros and the cons and then highlight some of the other, some of the other apps for audiobooks that are available out there as well. So an audiobook app should be easy to use. You should have access to your audiobooks wherever you are and you should have a large library of titles and Audible does all of that for you. The pros of Audible app is, well, let's start with, the marketplace on Audible is not tied to the iPhone or the Android which is awesome. It means if you have an iPhone, you're buying you're buying these audiobooks. If you move over to Android, you can take your books with you. It's also enabled with WhisperSync, many of the books, which means that you can sync your Amazon Kindle and your Audible books so that you can pick up where you left off, whether you're reading or whether you're listening. You can listen to audiobooks on two or three times speed and get through them much faster. You get discounts on all the titles as a member. I'm yet to pay more than $15 for any single title and I've purchased over 30 audiobooks and some of them are less than $5 so it's pretty good value. You can download your audiobooks as many times as you want. So you can download it, listen to it, delete it and then if you want to listen to it again in six months you have access to that uh, Audible store it for you. And it's compatible on multiple devices, compatible on the iPhone, compatible on Android and also in, you can have one account on multiple devices. The cons of the Audible app is that there's not as many Audible books as real books. They do have a massive range, they're the biggest in the industry in terms of audio books but Amazon.com has more real books than Audible has audio books. I was a bit frustrated, I wanted to get the $100 Startup which is a new book but it's not on Audible yet so hopefully it will come out soon. Audible has a monthly subscription required which is $14.95 per month and you get one credit. I've kind of used this to my advantage and you can use that credit to buy books that are worth more than $14.95 so I actually save money. But if you didn't want to be buying a book every month then this may not work in your favour. The abridged versions can be painful when they cut down the book and make it really short. I don't like that. I want the whole book and sometimes the whole book's not available. But most of the time it is but sometimes you just can't get it. And you can't download the audiobooks unless you're connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm on an iPhone and anything over 50 megabytes it doesn't allow you to download unless you're on Wi-Fi which can be frustrating but probably saves me $1,000 in my phone bill. So you can get the audio, Audible audiobook app from the iPhone, from iTunes, what's it called, the App Store. You can get it from Google Play for Android. And I've also got a special offer where you can get your first audiobook free if you sign up through the link that is either below this video on YouTube or if you're watching this on the blog then there'll be um, a link on the blog to access a free audiobook. A couple of other programs, you've got Audiobooks Premium which contains free public domain books that are narrated by volunteers, you've got Audiobook Shelf, you've got children's audiobooks, you know these aren't as, aren't as large, aren't as good as Audible and then you've got iTunes as well. The thing I don't like about iTunes is that it ties me to Apple. So if I'm going to take my audiobooks to an Android device, I can't. So that's what I love about Audible. So I hope that gives you a good review of the best audiobook app for iPhones and Android smartphones. It is Audible and you basically can't go wrong if you're using Audible.